India is grappling with the elements, even as it deals with the pandemic. More than 500 people across eight states have died due to monsoon rains. The northeastern state of Assam is continuing to struggle with floods, which have displaced millions of people. Rebecca Bundan tells us why the situation is all the more challenging this year. Along with Assam, the Indian states of West Bengal and Gujarat have also been hit hard by flooding during the current monsoon season, which runs from June until September. Government figures show that more than 100 people have been killed in flood-related incidents in Assam. In West Bengal, more than 150 people have lost their lives during the monsoon season. In Maharashtra, of which Mumbai is the capital, 47 rain-related deaths have been reported. Every year, hundreds of people are killed in the monsoon rains in India as flooding washes away homes, infrastructure collapses and there are deadly landslides. Authorities are working hard on rescue and relief operations in affected areas. But this year is more challenging as the number of coronavirus cases in India continues to spread with total confirmed infections approaching 1.2 million, overwhelming hospitals. This means that authorities have their hands full with managing the crisis and people's livelihoods have already been hurt by lockdowns. Hundreds of relief camps have been set up in Assam for displaced people, but safe distancing is a challenge and the monsoon rains also bring with them the spread of diseases like typhoid and malaria. India receives about 80% of its rainfall during the annual monsoon season, which is vital for agriculture. But with heavy rains forecast for parts of the country this week, and as the monsoon season continues, further destruction is expected. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.